Hello? This is part 1 of my How to Journalize series. And in this part, I'll just talk about the concepts that you need to know before you start preparing journal entries. Because these things, they will really help you. And here I will just be giving three concepts. So the first concept is, I'll write everything first. First, we have the double entry system. No? And this concept states that for every transaction, at least two account titles are involved. And when we say transaction, this one, what are we referring to? We are referring to business transactions, meaning events that have to do with the business. For example, the owner investing cash in the name of the business or the business getting a loan from a bank. It's not like when the owner asks someone to date him or her or the owner going to the park with his or her family. Those are transactions but they are not business related. And then you might also notice account titles here. And um, for that one, I will discuss it in the next video. For now, I will just leave it there. So let's have the second concept. I just write everything first. Okay, for the second one, we have the accrual basis. And under accrual basis, we have two. Number one is the revenue recognition principle, which states that revenue is recorded when earned. And then we have the second one. It's called the expense recognition principle, which states that expense is recorded when incurred. So what's with accrual basis? It will be explained later. That these two, revenue and expense, are actually account titles. Although, right here, they are not that specific yet. I'll start with revenue. So a specific revenue, for example, service revenue, you will record it if you are able to do service regardless of cash. Let's say you have a spa business and then you did a service. Right away, record revenue following accrual basis. You don't care about cash. It has no bearing. Now, let's talk about expense. So, a specific expense, for example, utilities expense, you will record it once you receive the bill from Meralco, regardless of payment. It is implied that you already use or incurred electricity upon the receipt of the bill because why would Meralco charge you, right? So once you receive the bill from them, the assumption is that you use the electricity and following the accrual basis, you will record an expense regardless of cash. Same with the one in revenue. So you will not care about cash in the recording. So again, revenue is recorded when rendered, meaning you perform the service, and expense is recorded when incurred, meaning you use something like electricity, rent, services of employees, etc., and in accounting, it's always accrual because we also have what we call cash basis. I'll write it here. This one. We don't do cash basis in accounting because in cash basis, you will only record revenue when you receive cash and we will only record expense when you pay cash. And that's completely different from accrual. So we don't do cash basis. We do accrual basis. And finally, let me write it first. Okay, so for the third, and this is the last one, it's called the business entity concept. This concept is basically saying that the owner and the business have different point of views. To elaborate, let's say an owner plays money in his or her business. And in the point of view of that owner, cash decrease, right? Decrease. Went down. Now, how about the point of view of the business? In the point of view of the business, it's cash increase, right? So in transactions later on, you need to always remember no, that you are using the point of view of the business. So I repeat, point of view of the business and not the owner. Because not knowing that will completely ruin your analysis. And that's it no, for this video.